Enter. I brought you some coffee, Miss Courtney. I shan't be wanting it this morning, thank you, Gladys. I have to be at the court in half an hour. Tennis court? Magistrates. <laughs> oh, my goodness, what have you done? Well, I haven't done anything. I am on the bench. I am a JP. Oh, very nice. Any juicy bits? I beg your pardon. Well, you know, like you read in the Sunday papers, husband finds wife in bed with love off. No, Gladys. Just the usual amount of football hooligans and drunken disorderly, that sort of thing. Enter. Thank you, Gladys. <laughs> I brought the stockroom keys back. Well, you better hang on to them, Sydney. I shan't want them today. She's in court. Court what? <laughs> court. Magistrate's court. Go on. Have you been nicked? Nicked? I've got a friend of mine to defend you, and if he can't get you off, he'll bung a few quid to the JP. Most of them are bent. <laughs> I am a JP. <laughs> I was only joking. <laughs> and I sincerely hope you were. I'll see you two tomorrow. Yeah, well, don't be too hard on anyone, will you? Remember, a person is innocent until he's proved guilty. Yeah. Well, I have often thought that should be the other way round. Oh, you should know best. <laughs> oh, I'd hate to come up before her. Me neither. With people like her on the bench, no wonder they demolished the death sentence. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Case number one has been put back until after lunch. Oh, very well. Let's get on with it. Court case number two. Court case number two. Presiding magistrate. Oh, blimey. We are being in luck. We are born to be getting off scotty free. Silence <laughs> in court. Oh, I take it you know these people, Miss Courtney? I most certainly do. Well, are you sure you won't be prejudiced in their favour? If I am prejudiced, it certainly won't be in their favour. <laughs> Inspector, isn't it a little unusual for the police to bring so many defendants before the bench at one time? The dock seems a little overloaded. Uh, the case is rather unusual, madam. The accused, though acting individually, did in fact commit the offences collectively. Oh. <laughs> I see. What are the charges? Miss Chung Su Lee and Mr. Taro Nagazubi inciting a riot. I demand diplomatic immunity. Silence. <laughs> Mr. Giovanni Cupello and Miss Daniel Favre disturbing the peace. Mr. Ranjit Singh and Mrs. Jamila Ranjaf causing an affray. Please, I'm not understanding what he's meaning. And I am no be understand also, Master G. But he's reading out the charges. You mean we are having to pay for being here? <laughs> More than likely. Will you please be quiet? Sorry. Mr. Ali Nadim and Miss Anna Schmidt causing a public nuisance. Mr. Juan Cervantes and Mr. Maximilian Papandrios assaulting a police officer. He assault us first. She. He hit my fist with his jaw. <laughs> Another remark like that, I shall hold you in contempt. Por favor. Speak when you are spoken to, Juan. Sorry, wrong number. Carry on with the charges. That's all. Well, what about Mr. Brown? Oh, I'm not charged with anything. And what are you doing in the dock? I've come here to speak on their behalf. He's our mouthpiece. Sure. <laughs> He's going to spring us. <laughs> you see, Miss Courtney... Stop! Are... You must come down onto the floor of the court if you wish to address the bench. Oh, right. Uh, you see, Miss Courtney... Stop! Are... I am not Miss Courtney. <laughs> Funny. She looked like Miss Courtney. <laughs> you will kindly address me as Your Honour. Sorry, Miss Courtney. Uh, Your Honour. But there are mitigating circumstances, and I'm sure that when you've heard what these students have to say, you will decide to act leniently. Well, we'll see about that after we have heard the explanation. Yes. Well, it all happened last Friday evening after class. As part of their homework, I decided to give the students various tasks to perform, uh, things to do, places to visit. Uh, Suli and Tara, would you tell the court what happened in your case? Take the stand, please.
Take the book in your right hand and read what's on the card. Yes, sir. I swear by Almighty God that the evidence I shall give shall be the truth. The whole truth, nothing but the truth. Take the book in your right no. hand. Are you saying that you are not going to tell the truth? The Republic of China not brief in Christian religion. What do you believe in? Chairman Mao. Very well. Do you swear by Chairman Mao that the evidence you give should be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? In Democratic Republic of China, there's no loom for eyes. Truth is absolute. So say Chairman Mao. I think we can accept that as an affirmation. <laughs> Proceed. Task Mr. Blount allocate to Talo and me is visit Speaker's Corner in Hyde Park to observe orators. I say to you again, ladies and gentlemen, do not be deceived by assurances of a so-called change of attitude in China. They are still governed by dictators. Yeah. The people are still oppressed. Yeah. Lavish! It is not <laughs> lavish. China is still an aggressive nation. It is Western imperialists who are aggressors. China is still a free democracy. No, who's talking rubbish? You are. If you don't like it over here, get back to where you came from. Right. Don't speak like that to my friend. Don't. You are ignorant capitalist ratty, you are. Now calm down. Well, if you wasn't a lady, I'd thump you. I have news for you. I am no lady. <laughs> you see, it was political act of self-defense. Not our fault. You may stand down. Who's next? <coughs> Mr. Giovanni Capello and Miss Favreau. Take the book in your right hand and read what's on the card. Not the likely. Why not to swear on a Protestant Bible? We are Catholics. I swear by the Pope. Give him a Catholic Bible. Okay, okay. <laughs> I promise I'm going to tell all of the truth. Me too. Carry on. <laughs> Your Honor. <clears throat> It's a like it is. Mr. Brown asked us to visit television studios to see how television programs are made. Oi. Yes? Where do you think you're going? We go to have a look around. You're not allowed in here without a pass. But I'm sure you can look the other way. Rules are made to be broken, no? Not by me, no. But it's for our own work. Sorry. What's that down there? Where? Come on. <laughs> hey! What do we do now? We have a look around. Don't worry, nobody's gonna find Let's us here. Get... Santa Maria! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Quick, in here. Good afternoon, and welcome to another edition of World of Sport. This afternoon, on our search for sporting action... Excuse me. <laughs> but which way do we go? Do you mind? I'm on air. Hey, I've seen you someplace before. <laughs> you done half a look like that David Dickey. <laughs> Dickie Davis, you spaghetti. Oh, that's right. Look, I am Dickie Davis, and I'm trying to do a programme. I'm very sorry about that, but when the programme is live, anything can happen, can't it? As I was hey, saying... David, can oh. I have your autograph, please? <laughs> Thank you very much. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome. My first guest tonight has flown across the Atlantic specially to be with us. I think uh, perhaps excuse the best... Me. Hey! I know you! It's Sir Michael Parkington. <laughs> it's not. It's Eamon Andrews. Oh, sorry. Oh, I... yeah. oh, my God.
Your Honor, I arrest her my bag. No, no. No, Giovanni, you rest your case. Okie cocky, arrest her my bag and her my case. <laughs> And there is far too much levity in this courtroom. We will now take a short break, and when we come back, I shall hope for a little more respect. Otherwise, the court will be clear. <laughs> Mr. Singh and Mrs. Ranja. What do you swear on? I never swear. <laughs> it's against my religion. He is being mean swear on holy book. Thousand apologies. I'm swearing by the Guru Granth Sahib. May Guru Granth Sahib ke dison ka ke ke jo bhi makenga sach se aur sach se aur sach se kuch nahi hoga. No, I am be swear by Almighty God. I am be swear to tell the obsolete truth and nothing but the obsolete truth. <laughs> Carry on. Master G is ask us for our homey work to be take boat on River Thames. And we comply. Hmm. When the weather is fine, then you know it's a sign for messing about on the river. If you take my advice, there's nothing so nice. Well, that's very simple. It's forward to go forward and backwards to go backwards. What about if you want to go sideways? <laughs> I think I am BC sick. You really want to hire this boat? Most definitely. All right. Switch on. I'll cast off. Don't put it in gear until I tell you to. <laughs> in your right hand and read what's on the card. Por favor. Sure, we tell the truth. Si, si, si. I tell you what happened. No, no. Mis I tell. No, 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 no. I speak good, better English. No. Mis I speak better English than you speak better English. Eh, si me lo Eh, no, me echo la hora, no tenía más palabras. Tell the court what happened, Mr. Cervantes. Si, señora. Mm. <laughs> eh, Mr. Brown. He tell us to go and see the wax wax. Wax wax. <laughs> she say, I tell, not you. Okay. So we go to Madame Tussaud. Hey, I tell you what we do. You take the photo of me with the British girl. Okay. Which way we go? We ask where we find the, one, the queen. Hey, what's the man? You're dead. He's a wax man. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like a real man. Hey, 
look, here's another. Ah. He don't look very nice. Ah. <laughs> he looks like a dumb. How they get this statue? <laughs> a fruit. Panayam. <laughs> it's a speaking dummy. <laughs> Can I help you, gentlemen? Yeah. You're a real man. Yes. Including the moustache. And we are looking for the royal family. Hey, I'm going to have the picture taken with the queen. Arm in arm. Members of the public are not allowed to touch the exhibits. Eh, sorry. Right. We not tell nobody. Thank you very much. Unfortunately, you are too late. We are about to close. You will find the exit that way. <laughs> we better go. Now, I want the picture with the Queen and Prince Philip. We go that way. <laughs> There they are. Ah, I go front, you take picture. Okay, but be quick. All right. Watch the bird. I'll just check in here. may stand down. Mr. Nadim and Miss Schmidt. I swear by Almighty God that the evidence I shall give shall be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. And what about you? Oh, blimey. <laughs> I'm also swearing, but by the Holy Quran. I Quran Sharif I will not say anything about the Quran Sharif, I will not say anything about the Quran Sharif, I will not say anything about the Quran Sharif. Oh, yes. <laughs> Proceed, please. Jolly good. <laughs> Teacher is tolding us to be visiting... I am not tolding you anything, Ali. Oh, yes, please. I was being there when you were tolding us. There's no such word as tolding. Teacher is right. Thank you, Anna. Mr. Brown told us. <laughs> the past participle of the verb to tell is told. Mr. Brown, may I remind you that you are not here to teach English? Yes, Miss Courtney. Uh, sorry, Your Honor. Carry on, Mr. Nadine. Jelly good. <clears throat> Mr. Brown told us to be visiting the zoo. We saw all the animals, and on the way out, Ali decided he wanted to ride on the elephant. <laughs> See the elephant with a long trunk swinging, the great big ears and a long trunk swinging, sniffing up the peanuts and a long trunk swinging. We can stay all day. We're going to the zoo, zoo, zoo. How about... Excuse me, please. We are wanting to have a ride on elephant. Ah, oh, gee. <laughs> Would you like a hearty dog? What? You were saying your cheese is hard, so I'm offering you my hearty dog. <laughs> Why don't we start again? We would like a ride on the elephant. Well, you can't. Why not? You are not allowed on the elephant without a keeper. We are wanting to be riding on elephant, not the keeper. <laughs> I've no idea. You go for keeper. No, I go for fun. You come to, 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 we go to the zoo, zoo, Hello, zoo. hello, hello. Oh, it is an Indian elephant. How do you know that? It has a bigger head and longer nose. Oh, blimey, it is pinching my heart. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, but, what are you but, doing? We are going to be riding on elephant. No, we wait for keeper. Don't worry, I know everything about elephant. Please be getting up. It may be dangerous. Oh, no. Indian elephants are most peaceful people. Oh. We are only going to be sitting. Climb, please, climb. Hey. Come, Ali. Oh. <laughs> You're very high. Oh, yes. When I was being a little boy in Delhi, I used to ride elephant. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. To be going on left side, you're pulling left ear. Yeah. 
If you're going on the right words, you're pulling right yes. And to be stopping, you're pulling both oh. yes. <laughs> what about starting? To be starting, you bang on head. <laughs> in the lake. Unfortunately, we are still sitting on it. <laughs> you may stand down. Mr. Brown, have you anything to say before I give judgment? Yes, Miss Corby. Uh, yes, Your Honour. I beg the court to show clemency in this case. These poor unfortunate people are guests in our country. They have journeyed from their native lands to our shores to learn our mother tongue. Why? because they admire our English way of life with its long tradition of hospitality, free speech, justice, and above all, fair play. They have committed no offense in their eyes. They were merely carrying out their duties as they saw them. I mean, one only has to look at them to see that they are not criminals. <laughs> I'm sure the court will find them innocent. If anyone is guilty, it is I. Bravo! Thank you, Petrocelli. <laughs> Well, having regard to your impassioned plea for mercy, the court tends to agree with your remarks. The accused are more misguided than mischievous. Therefore, the court finds the defendants not guilty. <laughs> However, the court agrees with Mr. Brown that if anyone is guilty, he is. To have sent out these poor, unfortunate students on such foolhardy errands is highly irresponsible. It is a pity that the court cannot punish you. But be warned, Mr. Brown, if you ever come before this bench again for whatever reason, you will be severely dealt with. The court will adjourn. Is this your car, sir? Yes. Having trouble with your memory, are you, sir? Pardon? Your road tax disc has run out, sir. Ah, well, I'm sure I've applied for it. What's going on, Constable Jones? Another tax dodger, madam. Really? <laughs> Well, while you're at it, Constable, why don't you check his lights and his tyres? How about his insurance? I shall be sitting again tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh,